step out my bed. First of all, I have to put this out there. I'm really hyped for Justice League. It's coming out this November. That movie is mad. Um, I've always gone for exhibitions, I've gone for um, pop-ups and they always have like particular themes but then I just wanted the artists to be free, I wanted everyone to like be free, that's why I call it self-expression, like it just defines who you are as an artist, like it's your work that shows who you really really are, basically that's why I chose it. Hey guys, my name is Will. I'm a portrait photographer. This is my piece from my project titled Skin Tone. Hi, my name is Ibobe Uno. I'm a painter. I'm 20. Hi guys, my name is Fifo Adebaku and I am a portrait photographer. My name is Abisola Kuvaret Badamasi and I'm an artist, illustrator, painter, sister, <laughs> family member, everything that has to do with art, I guess. It's a piece of freedom. This piece, sorry I'm late, was inspired by Venus and like the idea of rushing. I mean, uh, us Nigerians tend to be late for a lot of people. So basically, it's uh, about a, a girl that's like on her way, she's on her way to an event, but she always finds herself rushing and late. So she puts it together like the first thing she finds. And like she wears sunglasses to hide her tiredness. And like she doesn't have time to take out her back to and stuff. But then she still ends up looking nice and put together, even though she wasn't in a rush. I use this piece or I chose this piece because it basically expresses how I feel about photography. The name of the painting is Strawberry Shortcake. The name was inspired by the colors of the painting. At first when I started it I wanted to go with a more serious name because of the explanation of the painting. But towards the end when I finished the blue background and I took a step back and I looked at the colors that's where it reminded me of the dessert, strawberry shocky, so that's how the name came about. Um, today I'm exhibiting a piece that I actually don't have a title for, but um, it's basically about um, family, it's about a man and a woman like living together and um, being together and having like different things that merge together to still form like one entire piece. So um, if you look at my picture, you see that um, the male has a has drawings on him and then the female has drawings on her and then um, both of them mix together kind of form like a central image which is kind of what I was trying to portray um, with the theme self-expression. So yeah, um, it's, it's basically um, two people living together they can express themselves differently but still form like a one picture, a general frame of ideas and thoughts and stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, so this piece is called Fiona and it basically represents self-love. Okay, there used to be a time, you know, we were all in love at some point and you know, my uh, first love wasn't that great, like not everybody else's love story and I decided to paint that out for the first time. It's a 20 14 piece, so I was quite young. And you know, and the flowers kind of represent you losing yourself within a man, because you know, we all do that at some point. Because I feel like it's a good representation of what I'm all about. Like color, structure, like exaggerated shape, like wearing oversized clothes, and like different, like different things mixed together that you might not picture initially, but then when you put it together, create something. So yeah, that's why. I feel like portraits, pictures, show more of the subjects when they're in black and white because in, in color, yeah, it gets mixed up, I mean, you get confused by the colors and everything, but black and white, you can focus just solely on the subjects, so yeah, 
that's why I chose this piece. As you can see, it has the black, and it has the white, which basically represents the black and white portrait. Photography. Yeah, the subject of the painting is the person. It doesn't exactly have a gender because some people see this, call it a boy, some people see they call it a man, some people call it a woman. Yeah, it's not meant to have a specific gender, but the person is being choked by plants and the plants have thorns on them and that represents all the bullshit we go through in life and how that tries to like weigh us down and the roses represents the good things about life and that in every bad situation we can always be optimistic and see good things in life yeah so it just shows that we could have a positive outlook on life no matter what the situation is Okay, the thing, the thing about the thing about expressions to me yeah, is um, I in the little things like smiles or like eye twitching or like or like rolling your head, um, I, I value that as expressions. So um, so in this year I portray them closing their eyes, which um, which is usually an, a type of expression that people don't do. People always think that okay you need to express yourself towards like the outside world, but then like like you can self-express, you can say to yourself that. By thinking or by like relaying your thoughts in your mind when you close your eyes, typically uh, expressing yourself. It's inspired by a quote by I forgot his name, God forgive me, but it's actually just called I don't remember the quote, but if you have a picture of it, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, be the be the love you never received. And shortly after I lost my dad, I you know wanted to look for it, which is how the relationship came about, and then the art came about. So it's all a, it's all a story.